Hello, my dear Patreons. I hope you are all well and you are having a wonderful time. Uh, it's actually first advent uh, Sunday and uh, I nearly forgot. I have to find our advent, uh, advent wreath with the candles and light up first candle. Uh, I'm coming, not today. Uh, this video will be posted later in the week. But I'm coming today <laughs> share with you a small gift. Maybe you do have someone who loves uh, books. And I was thinking how beautiful it will be if we will have a gift for book lovers. So I'm coming today to share with you this cutie. The night before Christmas. So sorry for that. <laughs> that was unexpected. The night before Christmas mini book with gift box. This is my first uh, trying. I already sorted out everything. I did, made the box slightly different. But the book looks like this. And I hope it's easy to put it together. And it's a really beautiful little book. And if you will have magnifying glass, you can actually read all that book. It's from 1912. And it does have beautiful images. And the, the story, it's just gorgeous. So I'm coming today to share with you how you can put together this book. Uh, what you need is just paper and printer. For pages, I used 80 GSM paper. It's very light, printer paper. And I use this paper just because I'm going to be gluing uh, two parts always together. Like this one with this one. And it will make one page. So it's strong enough. And it's kind of thick page once I glue all these together. If I will use heavier paper, it will be just too heavy. And this will get just too thick. And I don't need that. And for cover and the box, uh, I print on 160 GSM paper. But I'm going to be using book pages. And I will glue book pages from the uh, kind of like on the back of that paper because I want to have book pages inside of that box. They always look amazing and I want to have book pages also peeking out here. It's kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> it's just, just something what I really like to do to, to have book pages peeking out here and there. So, 160 GSM on this and I'm going to cover all background with book pages and uh, 80 GSM for this one so I'm gonna start with pages I do have uh, all these papers in two sizes A4 size that's what I am using here and then I do have all these designs in US letter size as well the spread uh, of this one it's slightly different uh, on US letter size paper just because of the size of that paper. So when you will print it out, you don't have actually this spread of the images. You have a little bit different spread of the images like this one. It's here and this is a little bit down and there is somewhere this picture and this is here on the bottom. But you will have everything like I do have here. All those pieces, I mean. Uh, both of these sheets with pages, they do have here on the start, small number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's for these strips. And here on the end, you have kind of like navigator. It's similar style like when I made that passport. So we will cut these strips between and then glue uh, strip number 2 here, strip number 3 here, where is that number three? But before I will do so, I'm going to grab a ruler and scoring tool. And I'm going to score all vertical lines. I gave you here vertical lines to kind of help you uh, with that folding later. So all these vertical lines, these, I'm going to score right now on both of these sheets. So with the ruler and my scoring tool. Just between and score. It will help me later to put together this uh, these pages without struggling too much. 
so always on that line which I left there I'm gonna score with my scoring tool then because my printer is printing with that white frame around I will have to cut a little bit so all these vertical lines I'm gonna score first and this video will be also as a helping video for my Etsy customers so hello and thank you so much to all of you who bought this mini book I hope you will have you will have a fun to create that book and then you will make someone very happy with your gift so I do have scored all these vertical lines because my printer is printing with that white frame around I'm gonna grab my knife and cut that knife uh, cut, the, <laughs> shoot. cut with the knife that white border and I'm gonna cut also this side where those numbers are before I will do that because I don't need their those numbers before I will do that I'm gonna grab a pencil and I do have here one two three four so uh, these numbers I'm gonna write on the spots of these kind of like strips so where there is number one I'm gonna write number one two three four and like I can see through the paper where those strips are going so on those strips I'm gonna write the number which is here same on that other sheet it will help me to navigate later which sheet or which strip I should take now uh, I'm gonna take my knife and a ruler and I'm gonna cut off the white edge from the top here where these numbers are and on the bottom if your printer is printing uh, the image from the edge to the edge you will have white strips just here and here left together with those strips this one where you have glue here part so this keep together with images you can cut off this white uh, space where these numbers are if you already wrote these numbers here just make sure you will write it there because then you can put together a book which is readable with magnifying glass of course so I'm gonna cut off all my white frame and I will come back once I do have just the that rest with those strips so I do have my sheets prepared for cutting uh, horizontally so here between those strips I'm gonna cut in these lines where these kind of very um, very vibrant or visible lines are there I will be cut those strips again with the knife and ruler and cut and because I did print out on this uh, light paper I have to be careful I will probably need to switch my knife to put the new one because I already ripped off a little bit the paper over there just slightly but I did So I'm gonna cut all of both of these sheets on strips like this. Here, see? Here I rip it off slightly. I do have cut it my strips and I also place them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this order, I'm gonna keep my strips right here. I'm gonna take a glue. Oh, shoot! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take this one <laughs> and I'm gonna grab strip number one and here 
glue here part two so i'm gonna get up part two i'm gonna check it i do have that part two and that part two should continue right here to make sure that i will glue those strips nice and straight i'm gonna take it at part two and flip it over i'm gonna fold this white strip Now I'm going to slide that part two to this fold and I'm going to make sure that that rest it's matching that strip before so I don't have it like this you know I do have it nice and straight like this and here in that fold oh come on yeah I'm going to take my glue Put a glue on this small piece, fold it over and glue. Now on this end I do have that white strip as well. And I think I forgot to score it there. Look at me. Score also that line between your pages and these white parts that will help you to fold it now okay so i'm gonna fold that white piece over there i'm gonna take another strip part three so i do have part three here i'm gonna put the glue here on this white piece take my part three place it here and make sure that it's matching those strips before that it's laying nice and um, straight with those strips before and again I'm gonna fold this one here don't forget to score here between those white strips and those pages as well it will help you to fold it on the right position I totally forgot so now I have to do it myself and it's just not uh, good for making that book it's better if you will have scored that part already okay you have it here i'm gonna take next strip you have here uh, i do have here number four so i'm gonna check i do have number four here and to make sure that i will don't place it upside down i'm gonna kind of like place it this way and flip it over again match those strips before so i do have my last strip uh, strip glued uh, on the last strip i forgot to cut that white piece so i'm gonna cut it off because i don't need it there and now i'm gonna start to fold and it's very easy i'm gonna start from the start actually and these should be folded this way and then just like accordion opposite way and this way so here you can see why i told you that it's better to pre-score it because you will have much much easier way to fold the book together this way and this way so accordion style on one side and then on opposite side and because i did pre-score my papers it's going much much easier than if i will have to you know find now where to fold and what to do so with this i'm gonna fold all that book and i will come back so i do have <clears throat> my accordion book prepared and because i don't want to have this like accordion book i want to have it glued together those pages like one strong piece not like this one so i'm gonna open it i think i do have wrong glue this one yes so this needs to be glued together these two so i'm gonna open it there Put the glue on that space and fold this back.
and I'm gonna open it next one and because you know because I glued this so this will help me to open the next one which should be glued so I will don't miss anything hopefully fold this back and press it's not too many pages so I don't mind that this is a little bit slower process and I'm gonna lift it up I do have here next one and I'm gonna place it back and press and always I'm trying to watch if I'm not uh, not making kind of like angle with gluing my pages and I will have to be careful with that glue and I'm gonna lift it up and put the glue here so with this process I'm gonna continue till the end and move that so I do have my mini book block done I need to separate few pages where the glue were kind of over the edge but overall uh, it's holding nicely uh, I'm gonna be gluing here over the spine also some reinforcement but before I will do so I'm gonna use my scissors and with those scissors I'm gonna kind of uh, distress the top bottom and the side of my book block the side where uh, the opposite side of the spine of that bo book block so here are pages here is spine so this opposite side I'm gonna distress with my scissors as well to make it look more worn more vintage And as I said, that top and bottom, this also helps to make it the pages um, kind of like in the same, same size or, you know, in the same shape. And I'm going to take a vintage photo and my <laughs> lovely distress ink and with that I'm gonna color the edges of my book or that book block to make it look more worn So that's my mini book block we do have here this small piece of fabric and I think over that spine I will need just yeah it's actually exactly size that's perfect so over that spine I will need just small part or a small piece of this fabric so I'm gonna oh shoot oh yeah that's my scissors I will need to sharp them. Okay. So I'm gonna take a PVA glue. Here it's opening of my book. So where those book pages are glued, I'm gonna take PVA glue, put the glue over these uh, folds here. And I'm going to put there a little bit more. And put also glue here. And here. Take my small P 
piece of fabric. Oh, come on. Yeah. Don't want to go. Small piece of fabric. And I'm going to place it over the spine. Like this. And glue it together. Now I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to take the paper where I do have box. And the front and back cover. I'm going to take book pages and glue book pages on the back side of this paper. So I do have that book page in the back side and I'm cutting all these pieces so now the box and I didn't try it yet so hopefully that will work <laughs> we will see if I did measure everything right so here this will be flap or a lid of the box here I need to cut a small notch, it's kind of invisible, so here a slightly in the angle, not the lid of the box, but this small piece slightly in the angle, kind of like this. Same will be on the bottom, it's not mm, visible that much as I want it, so here is straight. And this one slightly in the angle, like this. I'm not sure which, which way you can see that better. And same will be here on this side. Here straight. shoot and here in the angle it's very small box so there are kind of tight spaces between Here straight and here in the angle, here in the angle and here in the angle. Oof, oof. And for the box, I'm gonna take back my ruler and ni uh, knife, uh, uh, the scoring tool and I'm gonna score uh, all these spaces which should be folded so the edge of the flap or the lid here uh, here on the bottom Now this last fold here and here the edge, the opposite edge of the side of the box and here is last one. So 
So now I can fold all these. And we will see if my measurement was right or wrong. This way and this way. So first I'm gonna keep this folded like this. Here I can see the spine or the side of the box. The opposite side is folded here. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna lay down this. I'm gonna put a glue on this flap. I hope I'm right. My straight. Hopefully I'm straight. So I'm gonna put the glue on this small flap. Try, 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 please, try. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, we are working. I think we are working. Oh, yeah, we are working now. So now I can fold this side of the box. With that edge. I'm gonna kind of like... Lift it this way and fold it opposite way and press. And again, kind of like lift it. Now these two sides are going inside. Then this red one and then over it, it's going this. That was the night before Christmas. Here I'm gonna put the glue. I'm gonna fold this over. I'm gonna take my bone folder and from inside I'm gonna press the papers together. like this and now I can fold this one. Oh come on oh I think these sides need to be slightly cut it down here and here as well, just slightly to make the space for the lid. Now close it and close the lid. Much, much better. So I do have a box. Yay! <laughs> and now I'm gonna bring back all those pieces for the book cover. This can go to the box. And I do have here, that was the night before Christmas. I do have here this one. I do have here the piece which will also create the spine. Just gonna try to fold it over. Hopefully, we will see. And I do have these two pieces. I'm gonna grab back my ruler and that uh, scoring thingy. And I'm gonna score always from the corner here to the corner here. And I'm gonna uh, twist or, you know, yeah, twist my piece and score all for these parts from the corner here to that opposite corner there. Same I'm gonna do with that next part. Once I do have scored all these sides, I'm gonna fold the opposites and then fold these other opposites. And 
And I'm going to check. Yeah, this way. So the piece, this piece, it's not exactly square. As you can see, if I will place it this way, one side is longer. So these long sides will be glued first. So long side, I'm going to glue first. We are reinforcing that piece. So long sides first. And then I'm going to glue these short sides over those long sides. Here and here. Same I'm going to do with that next piece. So again, I'm going to fold it. I think this one is longer. Yeah. I can see that straight away. So this and that opposite. I'm going to glue first. And then, then those short sides. I'm gonna take this green piece gonna try it one more time if I'm not too far too big I think this way it can go and I'm gonna take those two basics and these will be glued right here and right here so I'm gonna add the glue kind of on the inside and then place this red piece with the slight amount here on the edge something like if I will create very teeny tiny small frame I'm gonna grab that next part Place it there and glue it here. And again, just teeny tiny small little frame, nothing too big, just really teeny tiny small piece. And always check before your glue will get glued properly if you can actually wrap it around. If you are not missing you know if you will use some thicker paper this <coughs> will have to be glued first around your book cover uh, or book block if you are making this book block from thicker paper make sure that you will glue first this green paper around so then you will see where the writing is but here I can see that I do have it quite big so I can actually glue it the way I want. I need to wait to make sure it will get glued. <clears throat> I'm going to take these small pieces. And I think I'm going to distress these first. So I distress all, including the box. <laughs> I do have this, my little book cover. I'm gonna grab the glue. Uh, I wanna have this, uh, the title this way. So I'm gonna glue here the front and here the back of the book cover. So 
here a little bit from and it does have very teeny tiny small frame the base it's slightly bigger of glue here and let it dry one more time to make sure that this will hold nicely and I'm gonna get up my book block check which is the front so this is the back cover uh, back of my book this is front of my book so I'm gonna add the glue here on the front grab my book here and place it there I'm gonna keep small frame and also I'm gonna check if you know if I can go I'm kind of placing that book block with the edge of this the cover kind of that that way if you can see the spine of my book block is at the same position like is the book cover and here I want to make sure that it's not you know in some stupid angle now I'm gonna put the glue here on that back side put the glue here and I'm gonna fold this and make sure that front and back cover are in the same position this is very small book that so that it's much more easy to do with this small book that way the spine got curved and I do have here this beautiful beautiful curved, curved spine now I need to let it dry before I will try to open that book and manage that book so I'm gonna let it dry just gonna try if I can fit into my little box totally and I can put there those gift vouchers I'm gonna take off my book because <laughs> I wanna clip it all together so now I'm gonna let it dry I'm gonna take a clips paper clips and kinda make sure that everything especially here it's gonna get glued and once it's dry and I'm sure that everything holds nicely I can place my mini book into my mini gift box and that's all done so I hope you did <laughs> enjoy it I hope you will have fun with these uh, with these ephemeras and you will like to create this mini book it's a really gorgeous book uh, I saw it many times uh, in movies, you know, in Christmas movies, like Christmas Pigeon. I think it's called Christmas Pigeon. So I hid that many times, but I never did that. So I'm glad that I do have that book right here and I can share it with you. So this is my sharing. Thank you so, so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Thank you so much to all of my Patreons for all your amazing support. I hope you know how much I appreciate that. And thank you so much also for all my customers who bought this book. I hope you did enjoy this little tutorial and I hope you will enjoy all these images. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon on Patreon or on YouTube. Bye.